This is the first picture of me on film. I stare at it, and I feel something stir deep down. A pole. I can't quite name. I don't think it's about chasing nostalgia, and it's not about trying something trendy. I don't know why. But suddenly, I just can't resist. There's a thrill to it. A thrill I haven't felt in years. But I'm starting at zero. Where do I even begin? What camera do I buy? What film stock? And honestly, how do you even use a film camera? Then I remember. Tucked away, forgotten, is an old camera my aunt gave to me years ago. It's been sitting idle, waiting, like it's known all along. If I'm going to start somewhere, it'll be here with this camera. My goals for this video is first, figure out if this camera will become my daily sidekick, or if I'll need to find a new one. Second, find some film to load in the camera. Hey, Joe. Good. Good. Just looking to pick up and roll a film. Third, learn how to actually use it. And finally, the most important part, capture one frame I love so much, I'll print it and hang it right here. Only one thing left to do, load up this camera and start shooting. My first role taught me more than I ever imagined. It was flawed. The back of the camera opened and exposed some shots. But somehow, even that felt right. Each shot, for better or worse, felt real. Now with my trip to Japan on the horizon, I decided to find another camera to bring, and after some research, I found it. The one. My sidekick. The one that will capture a moment that could fill that empty wall. And what better place to create those memories than in a place like Japan? I've recently been getting into 35 millimeter film. No idea how they're gonna turn out, Everything may suck, but I think we just gotta do it. On this trip, something clicked. I remembered why I fell in love with photography in the first place. My first camera took me everywhere, even to Japan, the first time I visited. And now years later, it feels almost poetic to be back here with my first film camera, experiencing that same spark all over again.
As a professional over the years, taking photos has slowly turned into work. Every time I pick up a camera, even on vacation, it feels like something I had to get right. I started taking fewer photos, always aiming for perfection, always thinking about the next shot, the next better photo. I'd end up with hundreds of images, some never seen, some unprocessed. The act of capturing started to feel like a job, and I missed just being there. I hear the shutter click, and that's it. The moment's captured, frozen in time, and I move on. There's no do-over, no endless rewinds. There's just one frame, one moment, that I commit to fully. I take my time to get it right, but I don't stand there obsessing. And it's that simplicity that finality that's brought the joy back. Each frame burned into the film feels unique, like a piece of me exists in every shot. It's special. In a way that digital cameras can't quite touch.